Hello, this is Wylock number 14. For review, we're going to be converting the following equations to standard form. Now, what is standard form? Well, remember, standard form is just ax plus by equals c. This form is your slope-intercept form. Since your slope and your intercept, in this case your y-intercept, is on one side. So how do you convert slope-intercept to your standard form? Well, as you can see, there are variables on the same side. But in this case, the variables are on the opposing side. So what you have to do is you have to bring it over. Negative 12x plus y is equal to 1. And that's basically the standard form. How do we know this is true? Well, look at this. This is how we're supposed, this is our formula. And it's the exact same method, it's the exact same format as what we wrote here. A would be your negative 12. B would be your 1, since 1 times y is just y. And your C would be 1. These are all constant values. They don't change. However, your variables, they do change. And they are right here. Your x and your y. And that's how you convert it. Now, in this example, we're converting it into standard form, but we're only given slope and y-intercept. Well, to solve this, we actually have to create an equation of our own. And to do that, we got to utilize the equation for slope-intercept. Slope-intercept form states that y is equal to mx plus b. M being your slope, and b being your y-intercept. With this information, we know our slope is 2, and we know our y-intercept is 4. So we can write y equals 2x plus 4. Now that's our equation. Now hold on, that's not it. We also need to convert it into standard form. So what do we do? We bring this variable to the same side by subtracting 2x on both sides. You get, as a result, negative 2x plus y is equal to 4. And that's your standard form. And that's your standard form of this equation. Moving on. Now, we're going to be going over polynomials and factoring. When it says rewrite the polynomial, that just means write it in a way where the powers are descending from left to right. So what's your greatest power in this problem? Well, that's obviously this 5. What's your second greatest? This 3. What's your last? Well, it would be this 1, but since, it, since it's just 1, we just put x. Now, to format it correctly, we would write 9x to the 5th plus 2x cubed minus 4x, and that's it. It's very simple. Moving on, we have add polynomials. Now, adding polynomials only require you to recognize like terms. So let's all write this down. 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x plus 2x squared plus x cubed minus 1. Now, out of this entire equation, which powers are the same? Meaning, which variables have the same power? Well, that's obvious. It's x squared and x cubed. So what do we do? Since they are like terms, we add them. In this case, since this is positive, this is positive. Since this is negative, we're going to be subtracting 2 out of negative 5. Or we will be adding 2 out of negative 5. In this case, since this is a negative 5. So we reformat the equation, 2x cubed plus x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x squared plus x minus 1. Now, what is 2x cubed plus x cubed? 3x cubed. What is minus 5x squared plus 2x squared? That's just minus 5 plus 2. Well, that's just negative 3. So you do minus 3x squared plus x minus 1. And that's your answer. Moving on. Oh, that looks like that's just it. 
I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving break. Bye.